Hey everyone, welcome to Drop Forum. My name is Kimberly, and today we're going to be walking through how to customize your submit button to make it fit you and your brand. Did you know that green and blue are the most soothing colors to the eyes? Now that is why Jotform chose those colors for the submit button. As you can see, the submit button automatically populates to be green. But I'm really excited to tell you that you can do a lot of things to customize your submit button. The first thing you can do is you can click on the submit area and then click on the gear and the properties, button style, change the button style. And then you have these really great choices, right? Different types shades, colors, we have wood, lots of different ways. But you know what? These colors might not be your specific brand. Let me show you how to do it super, super simple. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to click on the blue circle, the form designer right here. Next, we're gonna to go to that second tab where it says styles and then down at the bottom where it says inject custom CCS. This is where you can go to town and you can have fun making it look exactly how you want. Now, the best thing about this is you do not have to be an expert in cascading style sheets to understand what to do. Jotform has a really awesome help article. I'm gonna go ahead and access it now and you can see they kind of give you a template on what to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to copy this section right here. I'm gonna go back over to my form and I'm just going to paste it right in here. So now we can see that the submit button changed, the font changed, the color changed, the size changed. And then you can see through here, we have the background, we have the color, the border style, the height, the width. And you can come in here and you can change these however you want. So let's say I want a black one. All you need is the code or the number code for that color, easily searchable on Google. So black is zero, 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 zero. Here we go, we got a black button, but also, it looks like we can just type the color. So let's try that. I'm gonna go ahead and black. Look at that, that worked perfectly. Okay, I wonder if I say, I want pink. It worked. See, it's kind of like a baby pink. Then down here, we can see the font size. It's 15 pixels. We can make that font bigger. It got bigger. We can change the height and the width. Let's say I want the height to be a little bit bigger. I can just change that to 100 and now it's a really big button. But that's not it. We can come back over to the help article and we can scroll down a little bit more. We can see there's more things that we could be doing here. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one. Let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna highlight all this, delete it, paste this in. So now it's kind of like a powder blue and it's rounded on the edges. And something else, you can see there's a shadow right here and there's a hover. When you hover over it, it changes. So all you need is the form submit button. What do you want it to look like? And then if you want it to have a hover, you have right here the form submit button hover. We can even make this box shadow up here on the actual submit button. We can make it a little bit bigger. See, it's getting a little bit bigger with each one. I'm bumping it from five to 25. So you can see it's a huge drop shadow underneath. But again, we kind of lose that bit of a shadow when we do those. I'm gonna take it back down to five, but you can see how simple it is to really play around with what the submit button looks like to get it to fit your brand, the colors, the fonts, the size, the hover, the shadow. There's so many things you can do with this button. If you have any questions, definitely check out that article or ask down below in the comments and I'll see you next time.